smaller pieces. You know, you need to learn about the concept of loop. Everyone who's ever done a full course meal has really done an algorithm in, in one way or another, has planned step-by-step -step instructions of getting through the problem of, of handling three different courses. Uh, Bath is it's incredible. It's my first time in Europe, so I'm very excited. I love that everything looks old, but in a very classic, vintage... I feel like I'm living in an Instagram filter, which is fun. Um, and the venue is gorgeous. All the chandeliers and the lights, it's, it's been a great experience so far. I cannot believe how many great speakers Simon got, actually. Uh, as a speaker, it was kind of intimidating to see the list. It was like, wow, there's going to be some amazing talks here. I have to really bring my A game because I know no one's a slouch on that stage. I talked about programming being a tool for the modern world and, and just like Legos and crayons, programming is a tool to express yourself and, and we should have more kids being excited about it. I mean, it's their privilege and it's their right to learn about computers and, and how they work and make magical and exciting things with them. I wanted to show uh, what it was like to write and refactor Ruby code live. Uh, I think it's actually a really great way to convey a, a message that has a lot of context, uh, so they can see your workflow, they can see how I work with them, how I write tests, how I run things. Uh, and I love that there's this sort of like a very rich uh, information stream coming out from live coding. And that's really my, like, my biggest thing, is actually engagement. Learning a code is really hard. And when you're coding, it's just you and the computer. So when something goes wrong, who do you blame, right? You kind of turn against yourself a lot of ways. And you kind of internalize that frustration. And so when you can spread that with community and work together, it just becomes a much, much more enjoyable process. And so when you have these small groups, you make it a lot easier for people. You, you basically give them implicit permission to be themselves and to have opinions and to really engage. Um, I love the range from Linda's talk and how she's educating kids using play um, to Katrina's talk where you're looking at experienced developers who sometimes find themselves writing bad code and what are the reasons that happens and how you can avoid that. So there's lots of things to think about and um, take away from today. Now, before we look at the code, I'd like to take a moment to talk about the tests. Right, moving on. <laughs> did today was about the main idea that you can use game theory to inform cooperation in software development teams. We just finished Katrina Rowan's talk, um, which I just had such a nice, lovely, kind of simple story to it. Yeah, they've been, they've been wonderful. But swapping an apple for a banana is a fair trade, and you would like as many bananas. As programmers, we tend to just kind of Right, the first thing we think of, and that's not necessarily the same as the, the best thing for any given situation. And so what I wanted to talk about today was um, techniques that you can use to try and kind of avoid getting bogged down in all those tiny details and try and build systems that are a little bit more elegant and have a little bit more uh, of a structure that represents the structure of the problem they're trying to solve rather than the thing you were thinking at the time when you wrote the code. The name of my talk is Nothing is Something, and it's about how everything is something. We love Ruby, and it's partly because of that culture of, in, a, in an open-hearted way, taking care of each other and teaching each other. It's the best thing about Ruby. Pretty much everyone took a photo of the um, open source projects um, board. And the job board was very democratic in that everyone could write their own job offering on it, so it was good. I've enjoyed it enormously. Um, it's uh, really the first big uh, Ruby conference I've been to, and uh, I think uh, 
There's a lot of things that I need to think about and think about how I do things and uh, get better. It's brilliant to see so many women up on the stage. I'm really enjoying the kind of, just generally the diversity of people that I'm meeting here. It's, it's got a really positive feel. Well, it was awesome for any conference, but it was truly amazing for our first conference. Like, not only did they get a ton of really good speakers, but they, they raised a bunch of money for charity. It's like the best thing about open source conferences like this.